Hello, today here on the uh, RC and Stuff channel we're going to try and do a maiden flight of my brand new DJI Flame Wheel 450. Uh, this 450 came as a uh, ready to fly uh, kit from uh, ready to fly quads .com. Uh, it's pretty much stock everything you see except uh, I had them go ahead and add the GPS module. It uh, came with a 2200 milliamp hour battery. And I'm flying it today with the uh, standard DJI 10 inch props, which have been balanced. The only other uh, modification, that, if you want to call it that, that I've made to it is from a friend of mine here on uh, YouTube, uh, Peter. And Peter, unfortunately, I can't even begin to pronounce your last name but he has these really cool 3D printed legs uh, for the uh, Flame Wheel 450 and he was kind enough to uh, sell me a set of those legs and I put those on the bottom because ultimately he also has a gimbal mount that fits right under here uh, that I'll put the GoPro on and uh, then I'll be able to have a single axis uh, gimbal to pivot it, uh, pitch the camera up and down uh, using that. Uh, Peter's uh, web channel is uh, shown below here on the uh, video. The other thing that's uh, new for me today in uh, flying this for the first time is the use of the uh, new high tech Aurora 9 channel radio. Um, I've been flying RC for over 30 years and have flown everything from sailplanes to airplanes to jets to helicopters, uh, you name it. Uh, quads are relatively new to me as well as electric flight. And I want to take this moment here to give a plug for another fellow YouTuber, uh, The Flying Rookie. Uh, his channel is indicated there at the bottom of the screen. Um, not only did uh, he uh, convince me of the virtues of using this uh, high-tech Aurora 9 Optima system with the uh, quad to be able to monitor the onboard battery voltage and such things but he's also been a tremendous help in the assembly and tuning of this quad and he's got a ton of good content out there on his channel and uh, I encourage you if you're interested in building and flying a quad uh, go ahead and take a look at his channel again that's the flying rookie one more thing I should mention about this before we take it outside and uh, give it a flight is uh, I've set it up, um, I'm going to be setting it up for uh, FPV using a Foxtech uh, transmitter uh, that will eventually sit right where the GoPro is sitting now and then as I mentioned before the GoPro will be in a mount, a pivot mount underneath. But uh, this is pretty much standard install the way you see it here. I have the high-tech Optima 9 receiver uh, sitting there on that uh, tab on the back and if you look inside there you can see the, uh, the NASA. Uh, there you see my uh, LED indicator for the NASA so I can watch and see what mode it's in. And there you can see one of the Optima 9 uh, antennas that I have uh, strapped to one of the legs. Alright, well with that I think it's about time that uh, you know we make sure the battery's recharged. Uh, I've already calibrated. I've done the GPS uh, NASA dance, and uh, to calibrate it, if those of you who don't know what I mean when I say that, uh, go out there to YouTube and look up uh, GPS NASA calibration, uh, and watch how people demonstrate to do the dance. Uh, I've done that and successfully calibrated the. Uh, uh, electronic compass and the GPS and uh, with that let's uh, quit ballyhooing around here uh, go outside it's a bright sunny clear day outside today and a beautiful day for flying we'll go see if we can lock onto some satellites and take this thing flying Okay, at this point we've plugged it in, 
We're waiting for uh, GPS to lock on right now. Still waiting for the GPS. And let's see, it's a flashing green light. Looks like we have all the GPS. So here it goes. Let me give it a shot.
So there you have it. it looks like a pretty successful first flight to me. A um, little bit of shaky and uh, generous. I'm going to attribute that to there was a lot more wind outside today than I expected there to be. I uh, expected it to be calm and I was having gusts of winds of 15, 20 miles per hour out of the west. Uh, another little thing I noted was that uh, when you have it in GPS mode and uh, you're hovering, if you notice a couple of times during the video, I all of a sudden take some rather rapid descents. Well, when I'd hovered, I had set the throttle just a little bit below hover when I had it in GPS mode. Then I was switching to attitude mode and uh, when you do that and there's not enough RPM to uh, sustain hover, the um, quad will uh, fall. That's what was happening. So the first time it happened it kind of startled me a little bit but after that I figured out what was going on. Uh, other than that uh, the rudder was not as twitchy or sensitive as I was expecting it to be. Uh, it flew pretty well. I managed to do as you saw in the video couple of real simple, real small uh, figure eights and uh, you know doing it all line of sight right now I wanted to keep it close to me especially in the wind today might try a little bit later on this afternoon when the wind dies down or this evening and uh, see if we can do some more so uh, for now that's it, that's that's a wrap I uh, just wanted to say one more big thanks uh, to the flying rookie out there uh, without his help uh, this would not have been possible, and uh, believe me, uh, he spent uh, countless hours uh, walking me through some stuff, even though I've been flying RC for about 30 years. Uh, this is a totally new endeavor for me, and uh, again, without Flying Rookie's help, could not have done it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, rate, subscribe, um, refer, tell your friends, whatever, and uh, I'll be back with some more. Thank you.